Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about sex, tantra and uh, tantrika training. Again, these are my ideas, it's not universal truth. This is what I practice and other people might tell you something different and that's okay. The fact that we have different opinions makes us humans and this is what creates the diversity of the human race, which is fantastic. So you don't have to accept my opinion. Simply listen. If you can use that, great. If you, if it's not for you or you don't feel like it's aligned with what you feel, just create your own truth. I'm cool with that. Okay. So here is the next dis distinction. You can be a tantrika and sexually inactive. I'm going to say that again. You can be a tantrika and sexually inactive. Being a tantrika doesn't mean that you go around having lots of sex. You got that? Um, you can be a tantrika and engage in all sorts of uh, spiritual techniques, practices that have nothing to do with activating your sexual energy. The sexual energy is there, some tantrikas will play with it, activate it, and some others will live in a world where they are going to use a totally different set of techniques. I will go sometimes for months, uh, I've been going sometimes for years without actively um, using my sexual energy. Why? Because I was engaged in other types of practices, intense deep meditation practices. You can use your, your breath techniques, you can use mantras, you can use study, you can be writing, you can do all sorts of things, travel the world, be on the Himalayan mountains in a cave for an extended period of time, and none of this involves uh, the use of sexual energy. And, I mean, the sexual energy is there, of course, it's still flowing in, in, uh, in your body and in your mind, but what I mean is that you're not actively working with it, you're not actively focusing on it. So that means that you can go for extended periods of time without having sex, without engaging into these techniques, and still uh, be a tantrika. You get that, right? I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, and the reason why I'm insisting right now on this set of videos is because... Um, I want to clear a little bit some, some misunderstandings about that so that the, the labels that we use for these different practices are not, you know, mixed. So does it mean that, uh, that there is no sex in the Tantrika practices? No, not either. It's like we include that. But it's like um, you can eat meat, you can be a vegetarian if you want. Those two things are are just a personal choice and when you are a tantrika you can make your own choices with that. Um, years ago when I was in the Himalayas and really getting the, the downloads, the real impressions about what I'm supposed to be doing with the, the, within the tantra field and the idea of, of you know, activating this lineage of Rajaya Tantra or Vital Tantra came in, um, the vision was very clear. It's that it's all inclusive. It means that all the sexual preferences that you might have are included within that system, within that stream. Um, you know, I can start singing a Sufi mantra right now and, and still feel, experience the fact that I'm still within the Tantrika field. I can uh, practice a Buddhist mantra. I can uh, go to a Christian church somewhere in the Greek island and uh, sit down and pray in front of a, a painting of um, St. Georgius and uh, still feel like I'm a Tantrika. The idea that we create all these divisions and separations for me is no longer needed. The, the field of Tantra is an unlimited field of um, possibilities and no matter what faith you are in, I'm here to help you go deeper with whatever practice you are practicing. If you need me to give you some tools, then you can come into that field. The reason why I'm saying that is so that you understand that it's not exclusive, it's inclusive. It contains absolutely everything. So when we start thinking about, you know, oh yeah, if you're a tantrika, this is what you need to, to go for. You need to engage into sex, you need to do all these things. No, not at all. <laughs> Those are, you know, two very different realities, okay? I hope you get the idea. If you have any questions on that, please, you can post in the comments of, of these videos. You can send me questions. You can always go back to my website, vitalcoaching.com, sign up for some coaching sessions, come for some workshops with me, and uh, you will see that all that starts 
making sense and falling into place. Okay? You are fantastic. I hope you are having a great time wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.